Why can't I play Destiny 2 on the Steam Deck? If you have ever wondered that, this video is going to explain why that is the case. If you aren't aware, the Steam Deck SteamOS is built on top of Arch Linux, which is one distribution of the GNU Linux operating system that runs on the Linux kernel. I'm going to explain what all of these terms mean and why that prevents you from playing Destiny 2, PUBG, and other online competitive games on the Steam Deck using SteamOS. GNU Linux uses the POSIX compliance standard to dictate many things about how GNU Linux operating systems have to act. The main difference between a Unix POSIX compliant operating system and something like Windows is the file directory hierarchy. So in Windows, you have things like the C drive and program files. That is not how it works with POSIX compliant operating systems. Macintosh computers, those are POSIX compliant operating systems. Arch Linux, a GNU Linux distribution, is a Unix POSIX complying, compliant operating system. What that means is, traditionally, there's going to be two halves of the file directory system the root half and the home directory half. Those are completely separate and the permissions for the root directory are more strict than the user permissions for your home directory. There are th literally thousands of GNU Linux operating system distributions and they all have different flavors that make them a little bit distinct from one another, but they all share the POSIX compliance so that they can all be called Linux distributions. And all of these Linux distributions are built on top of the Linux kernel. And that is the crucial fact that's going to prevent games like Destiny 2 from very easily being ported over onto the Steam Deck's SteamOS. So what is the kernel? To make an analogy, let's use a car. So the distributions of Linux are the car models. So let's say you have a Ford Mustang, that's going to be the Ford Mustang distribution. Or you have a Tesla, that's going to be the Tesla distribution. Or you have a Toyota 4Runner, and so on and so forth. Okay, Those different outward models can be totally different from each other. Now, let's think about the GNU Linux operating system as it being a car. So the car has wheels, right? The car has doors, it has a seat, a, dry, a steering wheel. All of these distributions, they share the same guts. And those, the, the, the structure of a car, think about that as the Unix POSIX compliance that the operating system actually enacts. What is the kernel? The kernel is the drivetrain and the engine and the electrical wiring system, right? It's what actually connects your GNU Linux operating system and the Unix POSIX compliance to the hardware of your computer. And all of the Linux distributions share the same Linux kernel within a couple versions of each other, but it is the same kernel. Now, other operating systems, they also have kernels. Windows has a kernel. However, the Windows kernel is private. It is an enterprise level operating system and the kernel code is not shared with the public. The Linux kernel, not only is it open source, not only is it shared with the public, but it is the most active open source project in the world. It has millions of commits. It's one of the oldest open source operating, uh, open source projects in the world. And there are many, many people who are paid full time just to update and review additions to the Linux kernel. So now you're thinking, okay, pizza party, Great, thanks for the history nerd lesson. What does any of this have to do with playing video games? I'm gonna answer that. So companies like Bungie and whoever makes Vermintide 2, I don't actually know, or PUBG, they want cheaters to not be able to log onto the game and ruin it for everybody else. So there are companies like BattleEye, which is the service that they pay for, to implement a software package that can be installed onto Windows computers 
that can tell whether or not you're trying to alter with the file system or the kernel at the memory level deep down and cheat in the game. And BattleEye has a business relationship with Microsoft and Microsoft allows them because they're the owners, they're the masters of the Windows kernel to see the code, right? They have a very strict non-disclosure agreement, obviously, so that they can't leak features of their operating system to competitors like Apple. And they allow them to implement, you know, core level spies effectively to alert games like Destiny that somebody is indeed attempting to cheat in the game. So why don't they just add this exact same thing to the Linux kernel? No big deal, right? Well, that's easier said than done. Software developers and people who are open source advocates, which you know, 100% of people who contribute and review additions to the Linux kernel are, they are a very, let's say, particular type of person, and they are quite opinionated. They do not enjoy private companies like BattleEye going and putting effectively spyware or doors to add legitimately malicious spyware deep into the Linux kernel that can be an enormous safety issue because... Something like 85% of all websites on the internet run on hardware that is running a Linux distribution. So it's not so easy, even if you knew exactly how to implement BattleEye at the kernel level to allow it to run on SteamOS. Valve doesn't have the kind of pull to just tell the Linux kernel maintainers to put that kind of stuff into every single distribution, whether or not people are playing video games on it or not. You also need to understand that BattleEye is a business and their software being private and not open to competitors is also something that they are very much interested in keeping going. So you can't expect BattleEye to just go and give their secret sauce to an open source project because Steam decided to go with an open source operating system. So you're going to reply in the comments saying, hey, Pizza Party, don't you know? There are many games that use BattleEye on SteamOS on the Steam Deck. Yes, that is true. There are certain games that use a separate product from BattleEye that is hooked into the compatibility layer on the Steam Deck called Proton. Now, I'm sure every single person who's watching this video has heard of Proton. Proton is not a Linux kernel. Proton is sort of a switching layer, if you will, like a translation layer that allows games that run on wi the Windows operating system to interact with a Linux distribution and still play the game with some small amount of performance loss. Unfortunately, Bungie was asked about this. They took their time, probably had a couple meetings, and they responded with a gigantic, no way, Jose. They will only allow kernel-level BattleEye anti-cheat to be their standard for whether or not people are cheating in Destiny 2. So I hope this little tutorial of the Linux kernel and BattleEye and anti-cheat in Windows relationship sheds a little light on, unfortunately, why you can't play certain games on the Steam Deck yet. It doesn't look like that's going to get resolved anytime soon, and only the people who are making those kind of business relationships with Valve really have the answer. But for the time being, there are workarounds to get Windows on the Steam Deck. Watch my video that I released on that if you're interested in how to do it. But let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. I love chatting about nerdy stuff like this, so uh, I would be happy to reply. Thanks.